Hey guys, it's Master J here from Martial Art World with another drills and skills video for you. Today we're going to be looking at the jump front kick. Uh, this is sometimes known as a bicycle kick or a scissor jump front kick. And the idea is we want to get higher in the air than usual uh, than if you were to perform just a normal front kick on the ground. So really we're trying to look for maximum jump height today. So bear that in mind, make sure there's plenty of space and let's get started. All right guys, so we're going to do this from a right leg back guard position. Just bear in mind when you're performing this kick, the back leg is the one that's going to give you the inertia to get up in towards the air. The front leg is the one that's always actually doing the kick itself. So just bear that in mind. So if we've got right leg back, that means the left leg is actually going to fire. Now the way we do this to get up into the air is to make sure that we've got a nice high chamber with the non-kicking leg. So that's the right leg right now. As I do that, I bring this nice and high and I imagine there's a, a box on the floor and an imaginary box and I'm going to just step my foot onto that box. Once it's on the box, I'm then stepping up, I'm gonna use that inertia to hop and then fire my kick off the front leg. Now obviously we haven't really got a box there, but we would need to visualize that to help us get a little bit more inertia. I imagine we're stepping down to lift ourselves up and towards the air. Okay, so from our guard position, one more time, we lift that right leg up. From there we step on the box and then we snap out that front kick and make sure that we keep a good guard position at all times. Try not to let the hands go out and make sure all of those things are in place with a normal front kick. So we've got good posture with the body upright. We snap the leg in and out. We don't just kick and then drop the leg. We want to make sure that we're performing a good technique throughout the whole movement. Even though we're in the air, it doesn't change the fact that we need a good front kick. Okay, so again, from a guard position, keep our hands up nice and tight. This time we go a little bit smoother. Try and use that inertia as the right leg comes up. We fire out and snap it down. Again, each time you get a little bit more confident, we can go a little bit higher. Add a little bit of footwork in this time as you set it up nice and light and then from there we come up fire the kick and land now if you're used to doing this movement already and you know how to do your jump front kick another variation that i like to do is actually use the chamber here and instead of just pointing the knee i make that actually a kick to set up so this is a little bit more of an advanced variation so what i mean by that is that as i bring this knee up instead of just knee I actually fire a front kick. As I fire that kick, I'm gonna use that inertia to bring the other leg up. So it's almost like you're performing this kick on the floor and then you hop into the other kick. If you're really good, you can start to hop both kicks into the air at the same time. So again, from our guard position, we use that right leg just to hop up. One, two. And my recommendation as well is to try and aim for different heights. I like to go low to mid on the first kick and then that can give you the inertia to go up a little higher on the second. Again, if you watch, two different heights, got a little bit lower to mid on the first one, and then we got higher on the left leg. So from here we got our position, in nice and tight, and we're in. One, two, and then we'll land. All right guys, that's it for today. Make sure you give this some practice, plenty of space at home, and again, try and get some air time with your technique. All right guys, thank you very much.